this morning, Katy Perry is like, I can't speak to these stories, but Ellen has always been very nice to me. You don't like, say. Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Keep It, cricket media show about pop culture and politics and what happens when they smack into each other at an alarming speed. I'm your host, Ira Madison III. I'm a television writer and Fallout Boy fan. I'm Louis Fertel. I'm a TV writer and Jane Fonda historian. And I'm Aida Osman. I'm a TV writer and alleged comedian. Let's get into it. Well, she gonna have some trouble dancing her way out of this one. Girl, not dancing. <laughs> dancing her way out of this uh, also the la- idea of literally <laughs> dancing your way out of something like out a door <laughs> drop can't stop the feeling and watch <laughs> and watch Ellen jitterbug away from <laughs> I cannot believe the news this week because BuzzFeed News last week published their second story in a month about rampant abuse and misconduct at Ellen DeGeneres' immensely popular talk show. These stories were shocking to absolutely no one at all because we've heard many stories about her attitude and poor treatment um, of those beneath her um, and people who work with her. But these reports are very interesting in that they're, they weren't just reports of you know, her being, like, mean to someone, right? Like that old yeah. report we heard of, like, her not being nice to a security guard. These were reports of... Black people at work saying that they faced, um, you know, um, just sort of like racial insensitivity and microaggressions. And then um, there are also reports uh, about sexual misconduct from producers of hers um, with other employees. So seems like we got some real stuff going on here. The initial BuzzFeed piece also, to me, spoke to how hard it is to identify toxicity in a work environment because it wasn't all coming from Ellen it was kind of coming from producers you know are you corroborating this with other people do you have to it just to me I felt for the people articulating what the problem was because that's I I work on a talk show myself and if for instance I think I knew who in who in HR I would be able to go to but it seemed like these people were confused about what even to do and I was so thankful they had a reporter to report it to yeah there's something to me that's so eerily suspicious about, and I get that it's daytime TV, but maintaining that level of like jubilant all day, every day, and then me, I have to believe that you go home and are not a horrible person, or you to your staff, you're not a horrible person. It's just odd to me. And there is a also a level of how long has Ellen been doing this for decades? There is an exhaustion, and she's Ellen just needs to go. I'm not justifying her behavior. I'm just saying that it's suspicious. This is very suspect. Very suspect. And then fee fi fo fum here Portia come talking about I stand by Ellen. <laughs> we know you stand by Ellen, girl. You sleep by Ellen. Like, that's just lesbian Oh, redundance. God. Porsche, Portia de Rossi. The redundance. The redundance also, her, her Instagram post about it also had a horrible font um, with just this, like, blue background and the words I stand by Ellen um, written. And then, like, these hashtags I stand by by Ellen. I stand with Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, hashtag stop bot attacks as if Ellen is being attacked <laughs> by, by by just bots. That what? was bewildering. That was a crazy response. I just want to point out an additional strange thing when I went to Portia de Rossi's Instagram. Her official description says former actress. I did not know that. I thought she was still among us doing her thing. I loved her on Better Off Ted. I do believe it's a loss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then also there's that odd thing that happened with Katy Perry where she defended Today, her. Today, yes. yes. This morning, she... Katy Perry is like, I, you know, I can't speak to these stories, but Ellen has always been very nice to me. You don't like, say. Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? And even Wouldn't it right be now, weird if she weren't? Yeah. Yes. Kevin Hart is tweeting the same shit, and it's like, do you guys not understand that, like... Oh, Kevin Hart chimed in. have friends. Rapists have friends. <laughs> like, uh, Of course Kevin Hart chimed in, <laughs> because I would say that part of this problem is the fact that um, she's come out to say nothing about the fact that um, employees have said that they were subjected to racist remarks, like, I'm sorry, I only know the names of the white people who work here, um, or the fact that people were fired after taking medical leave or bereavement to attend family funerals, or that, you know, um, one of her EPs, Kevin Lehman, you know, was a 
accused uh, um, uh, by 36 former employees of um, asking if he could give them hand jobs or oral sex or or grabbing PA's penises or groping productions assistants. You know, like she has not really responded to any of this except for like just been hearing light Daily Mail stories, which who knows if you can believe that about maybe she'd yeah. want to walk away. And it is so telling because. If you recall, that Kevin Hart situation was people reasonably being mad about him, you know, having homophobic jokes and simply wanting him to apologize for it. And he didn't apologize for it. And that's why he ended up not hosting the Oscars. But then he went on Ellen's show and they had this whole, like, rich, famous people sit down that was basically a conversation about, like, why should you have to apologize for anything? That was the thrust of it, right? So here you have another a situation that now involves her. She doesn't want to apologize or even address it, seemingly. And it's I think it's really shitty thing to do, you know? And I think it probably is um, a sign that those stories about her are true. And I say sign like I know they aren't fucking true. Like, like yeah, they you know, so, yeah. we all have friends who have worked on Ellen. <laughs> I will I'm say, though, actually so, we do. Something, <laughs> did, something did bother me about some of before BuzzFeed got into the picture, before it became an official news story. I do think there's something strange about posting a tweet to the world that's like, well, we all know how bad Ellen is. And then expecting strangers to chime in and fill of in the course. blanks for everybody. Because, by the way, I will just say in recent history, there was a similar line of Twitter based revolt against a celebrity, which often ends up being necessary, not saying it's 100% a bad thing. One of the people who wrote a long response about how this one particular celebrity was terrible to them, I personally watched that celebrity get fired from a TV show for treating the host terribly. So it's not like everybody who's ever responded to this is necessarily, you know, like, like it's not vetted, it's all I can say. Like, we're treating this like Yahoo Answers, and it's actually a, <laughs> a serious oh, of course. story, you know? So just, I, I, I really appreciate when actual it becomes actual news with that's been vetted and reported. I also want to say about Twitter's response to this, there's been a lot of talk about who might quote unquote replace Ellen. It's a syndicated show. I don't know if there'd be technically a replacement, but people have been pretty facile about who will replace Ellen. And I just want to say it is never in doubt that Ellen is phenomenally talented. So mm. I just want to say like the hundreds of thousands of responses as if anybody can sit in a chair and do it. It is a grueling job. Ellen has the particular gift of being able to tell jokes in very few words with timing that is always surprising. Like, mm -hmm. like even at its most basic, I do have to say I fucking laugh. She really has a gift for saying something strange and having like a quirky timing response that uh, uh, really takes me off guard and makes me laugh. So I just want to yeah. say, let's talk about who's going to replace her if in fact she leaves the show. But it's a serious serious talent level she has and i and i don't yeah. mean to paper over however no, she's course. treated people but in fact she actually is i think it was just announced this morning that she is coming back to host the 18th season after mm. we get coronavirus figured out so it might not even be a conversation that we have and it's actually unfortunate that in the, the buzzfeed article and all the things that are coming out really did zilch to affect what was going to happen in the upcoming season